Welcome to Toy Poloi. Parental guidance. This video contains scenes of Lego destruction. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now on my recent trip to Tokyo, I met up with my good friend Tokyo Toy and we always do a little trade of toys and he found me some bits that he thought would be of interest to me for restoring on this channel and as you can see here I have a selection of uh, Microman time traveller figures now these are some reissue time traveller figures from around the sort of early 2000s uh, sort of maybe a little bit later than that and these are reissues of uh, the toys sort of released back in the 70s so they have the same construction but they're just sort of uh, made in slightly different colour plastics now these little uh, Microman spy changers have the same Sort of issues that other Microman and Micronauts figures have and that is the little peg that holds the foot on snaps off as you can see how I have the tiny little peg that snapped off and without that the foot is not uh, able to be sort of put back on the figure and I've shown how to fix this before in a uh, recent video on fixing uh, time traveler legs so I'm going to use the same technique for that but this toy also has another issue which is uh, sort of one I've not fixed before is the uh, main body section of the time traveler is held onto the bottom part using a little o-ring and there's a screw on the back that you undo to get access to the o-ring but these uh, spy magicians have an extra piece of plastic that goes over their upper torso so if I just sort of carefully ping this sort of chest piece off you can see this silver piece pops over the top of the body and means that you can't unscrew the figure put the o-ring on and then screw the figure back up because this has to somehow sort of clip in place so I've uh, been racking my brains how to do this and I actually managed to get this one back together so I have worked out a way of doing it but it's not as easy as uh, you would think and it's certainly not as easy as fixing other Microman figures so let's take a look at uh, what we've got to fix today so we've got to fix the foot on uh, this little uh, spy changer we've got to work out how to reattach the legs to this spy changer and this guy also has uh, both of his feet snapped off so let's get started and we'll see if we can put all of these back together now on this first spy magician we're going to look at how to reattach the legs because they have become detached at some point so what we need to do first is actually take this figure apart so i'm going to just do uh, unclip the sort of silver chest piece and that clips off fairly easily just remove that and then we can get inside the figure again just by there's one screw on the back and we can unscrew that drop the screw out and then we should be able to just sort of pull this front section apart well there you go it's just falling apart and you can get inside and see how this is constructed now this is exactly the same construction as other Microman and Micronauts figures just with the added complication of this silver piece which needs to slot over uh, the body once it's all together and obviously you can't get this on once the legs are in place so we need to work out a way of attaching the legs after this silver piece is in place and somehow pulling this o-ring down through the legs and I think the way I'm going to do that is just to use a crochet hook something like this this is a uh, sort of crochet implement that I borrow of Mrs Toy Ploy and it's a very good way of hooking things through if you don't have one of these then you could just use a piece of string and thread it through uh, the o-ring so that you can pull it down so let's get everything set up and we'll see if we can uh, get this to work now if your o-ring has uh, perished which they sometimes do you can replace them easy enough you can buy o-rings from uh, many places I actually buy a big box of them and use them for multiple restorations and the o-ring size you're going to need is just slightly over one centimeter uh, in diameter I would say that's about uh, 12 millimeters uh, and that's the sort of o-ring size that you'll need so I'm going to slot this back over the inside sort of uh, screw hole which is where uh, everything needs to attach make sure that I can sort of hook my little crochet hook onto this and pull it down because we're going to have to pull this through all of the leg holes and then sort of hook it onto the uh, leg mechanism so I think that's got enough stretch to it so I'm just going to put this body back together we can just put the front on and clip his head in place and then we can screw that up and I'm hoping that I can hook the o-ring once this is all screwed together just uh, put that in oh yeah that works well so you can see I can now hook the uh, little o-ring with the crochet hook so we can now slot on the front section which is the sort of this uh, metal chest plate and this is the bit that causes the issues so we can hook that on now I'm going to take the legs out of the pelvis because what we want to do is sort of hold the pelvis in place and I'm going to use the crochet hook through all of these pieces and hook it onto if I can the o-ring and there you go I can hook that through and now we get on to the fiddly bit 
Now the next stage of this is really quite tricky because you've got to hook uh, this uh, little hook that holds the two legs together back through the o-ring so you're going to have to sort of move everything slightly out of the way and it's all under tension but it should be possible to uh, hook this back on with a little bit of fiddling I think that's caught it like so and then we can drop the legs back in place and as you can see they are now held on I just got to hope that I got everything around the right way which I did so we now have the legs reattached to the top section of uh, this uh, spy magician so it's not the most easy of things to fix I think all of the other microman figures are so much easier uh, but at least we have these ones reattached so now we can go ahead and fix his feet now we can move on to reattaching the feet and making some new little pegs that the feet attach to. Now I have shown you this before in a previous video but I'll show it again here and we're going to use some pieces of Lego because that's always the uh, first place I like to look for when trying to fix these things and we're going to use some uh, Lego antenna. Now these are really cheap to buy off eBay. I picked up a few here just for this project and they cost a pound for a pack of uh, four. I've got uh, loads of them here to the side as you can see. Now the great thing about these antenna is they come in lots of different colours. So I've managed to find a solid red antenna as you can see here which is a fairly good match for the leg on this uh, Spy Magician on the right and also some clear plastic uh, red ones which you can see here which have got a sort of slight orangey tinge to them and those do match quite nicely onto uh, this one here. So I think that's the sort of best uh, colour matches I can find and uh, should look pretty nice. So what we've got to do is obviously drill some very tiny holes into the ends of uh, these legs that we can then stick part of this piece of Lego into. Now this is a fairly tricky sort of job to do and it's an idea to have another time traveller or sort of a spy magician close by so you can work out exactly the length that you need to make these little uh, sort of rods. Uh, but what I'm going to do this time is use my uh, pin vise and I have a drill bit already in, uh, sort of inserted into it which is a fairly close match to the size of this Lego antenna. It's actually slightly smaller because what I'm going to do is sort of drill in and then sort of work the hole to be slightly bigger. I don't want to drill quite this size straight away um, but it should be possible. So let's go ahead and uh, start drilling these holes. I'm going to work on this guy first because he's only got one foot that needs repairing and once that's done we'll uh, move on to the other one. So uh, let's get these little holes drilled in the bottom of his ankles. I've got my pin vise with the drill bit in I'm just going to go very slowly and uh, drill a hole in the end of uh, this leg. Now the great advantage with the pin vise is that you've really got full control over what you're doing because it only goes as fast as uh, you turning the drill bit. And we need to go in maybe sort of uh, two or three millimetres so that there's enough fixing there. So you can see I can go quite slow and stop every once in a while just to check that the uh, the hole is in the right place. Which that looks like it is. And we can also work out how far in this uh, has gone just by sort of holding the drill bit, making sure it's gone in far enough. I think that actually needs to go in a little bit further, but you can see already I've got a hole forming in the bottom of the ankle. So I think that looks about right. There you go, there's the, get the camera to focus, there's the hole in the ankle. So now we can modify the bit of Lego to fit that. So we need to work out how far the drill bit went in. The easiest way to do that is just pop the drill bit in and pull it out. So you can see that's gone in about three or four uh, millimetres. And then we've got the extra bit of uh, the sort of post there. So we know that we're going to have to cut this to be sort of about uh, six or seven millimetres long. And I'm just going to use a pair of plastic nippers to uh, cut that. We can just sort of hold it all up together and work it out. I'm using the solid red uh, antenna for this one because I think that's the sort of closest match. So I reckon it's got to go about to there. And again, this doesn't need to be that accurate. We can sort of modify it and this will be glued in place anyway. 
So there you go, there's the new post. Now this isn't going to fit in, as I said, because I've made the hole slightly uh, smaller. And the reason I've done that is that I can just trim this down, because there's only so much plastic here and you don't want to make it too thin. It's easier to actually trim down these bits of Lego. Just use some plastic nippers and you can sort of carefully trim off the ends of uh, this little rod and you can make something that will fit much neater. So you can see that's starting to fit. It's just a little bit long. So I'm going to make a few more little modifications to that so that we can get it the right length. So there you go, with a little bit more modification, I managed to make that one fit. And to glue this in place, I'm just going to use a little bit of super glue. Just dab that on the end. Just a tiny amount. And uh, we can let that dry and then test the uh, feet to check that they still fit. So there you go. Looks pretty much like the original. Now with some of these feet you will actually need to modify the ball part of uh, this new peg slightly. And again I just use a pair of plastic nippers just to carefully trim off a little bit of it. Uh, sometimes the feet are so tight that you risk breaking the leg when pushing them on. You could obviously uh, heat up the feet if you put them in boiling sort of just boiled water for a few seconds, it would soften the plastic. But then if you ever came to take it off again, you're more than likely going to uh, snap this peg. So just a little bit of trimming like that should enable me to fit uh, these feet. I'm just going to put his little ankle guard on. Let's try and fit one of these feet onto. There you go. So that's fitted pretty nicely. As you can see, it's a very snug fit. We can put the other original foot back on as well now. But you can see that even the original feet are actually quite a snug fit. And you do sort of risk snapping the feet off. But there you go, he's now got his foot reattached and he's ready for action. So I've now just uh, drilled the two holes in the bottom of uh, these legs and it's slightly easier on these because you can actually see how far the drill bit is going into the plastic because it's clear. Uh, now all I've got to do is uh, modify these Lego antenna again. So I've now got both of the antenna ends attached and I've sort of trimmed down the uh, ball as well because these, the blacker versions of these feet seem much tighter than the uh, blue ones that I attached to the other one. So I've had to trim it down a little bit further just so that it does fit nice and neatly and it's not likely to break the uh, new attachment off and I think that's uh, working quite well. So there we go, that's the uh, feet attached on that other spy magician. And here you can see the finished three Spy Magicians. They are all back up and working. And you'd actually be hard pushed to tell that these had uh, been broken at any point. If you look through the bottom of the feet on this one, you can see uh, both the pegs look like they should do, although one of them is a replacement piece of Lego, so it's really hard to tell. Now these did come with uh, stands, as you can see here, but I only got uh, two stands. So if you're missing a stand, a great tip is actually to use these Lego minifigure stands because uh, the pegs on Lego are a perfect sort of matched for the holes in the bottom of the feet on all Micronauts and Microman figures. So I've actually got a box of uh, these old, uh, well I say old, these are sort of from modern minifigures uh, and you can pick them up very cheaply and I use these for making all of these figure stand stops them falling over because they are a little bit of a pain uh, to stand up sometimes. If we look at the bottom of uh, this guy, let's take him off the uh, little minifigure stand. Again you can see uh, the new plastic pieces in the bottom and they fit really nicely and so he's not going to fall over at all. So that's a great little fix there. Now these spy magicians obviously are a little bit more fiddly to fix than normal Micro Man uh, figures, but uh, sometimes the fiddly ones are more fun to do and restore. So I want to say a big thank you to uh, Tokyo Toy Bar for doing a trade with me and giving me these uh, broken spy magicians. They've been a great fun figure to fix. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.